Hey, Lawson Assembly of God, welcome to week one of Front Row Leadership. I'm so excited that you're going to take this journey with us to grow and to become the leader that God has called us to be. I want to share with you for just a moment one thing that just jumped out at me from the first chapter of Front Row Leadership. It says this, the, the back row is full of talented people who choose not to leverage their gifts, talents, and abilities for the benefit of their organizations. Not only do they compromise the strength of the organization, but they squander the opportunity to invest their lives in something larger than themselves. You know, the people who sit on the back row are not very different from people who sit on the front row. They all have skills and gifts and abilities that the Lord God has given them to utilize and, and, and to lift up the body of Christ. But so often there are negative uh, mindsets and patterns that filter in to the people who sit on the back row, and I don't just mean people who are sitting physically on the back row, but people who have a back row mentality when it comes to the church. They can think that no one wants me, or my gifts don't have room to be used, or, or that I'm not good enough to serve the body of Christ. And that is just not true. And we have to learn how to erase that negative mentality and, and choose to believe that God has us here planted for a reason and a purpose. Romans chapter 12 says, We are many, uh, but we are one body, and, and each of the members belong to one another. It would be ridiculous to, to think that, that our arm only has certain resources just for our arm, or our leg only has resources only just compartmentalized for our leg. No, the, the body is there to benefit all of the members, and so it is in the body of Christ. God has given you and equipped you uniquely with His Holy Spirit and, and with the gifts and the fruit of the Spirit so that you might encourage and uplift and, 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 and welcome people into the kingdom of God through your unique skills and abilities. So God is calling you to the front row to use those gifts and to freely be able to, to be used in His kingdom and here locally at Lawson Assembly of God. And, and so we need to erase that mentality of negativity and choose to believe that God is calling us to the front row. Now I know that the church has been through a lot of transition in the last few years. A new pastor, a, a lot of new staff, two services, community groups, and it would be very easy to sit back and to, and to just think negatively or with criticism about what God is doing here. But you know, the church continues to grow. And there are people that this Wednesday night are gonna be baptized. And, and, and to celebrate new life with them is what we should be doing. And investing in their lives is what God has called us, each one of us, to do. Not just the pastor, not only the staff or the ministry leaders, but every person shares in that duty and responsibility to, to be a part of what God is doing. So where are you gonna sit? Are you gonna sit on the back row? Or are you going to choose to take steps toward the front row? Now, I've been at conferences and events where I've sat on the back row and honestly, I've checked out from what the speaker or what the leader is saying just because my heart wasn't right in the moment. And, and in those moments, I can choose to, to joke or to be negative and for that to have a ripple effect uh, on the people who are around me. And, and that is just not the kind of spirit that God wants us to walk in. He wants us to walk in, in spirit with Him and with one another and, and choose to love the members of the body. And so I want to challenge you today. Don't waste the gift that God has given you, but choose to invest it and to be a part of what God is doing here at Lawson Assembly of God. God bless you.